Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hi! It might seem a little bit of a silly question, how to actually sharpen a pencil. But a lot of people get so frustrated because the leads inside their colored pencils break all the time. And that is just the biggest frustration of colored pencil, isn't it? You're sharpening your pencil and then the tip breaks off and then you're sharpening again and the tip breaks off again. And before you know it, you end up with a really short pencil and still no sharp tip. Now, this could be because the lead inside has broken because the colored pencil is a tool that is kind of fragile. If it falls on the ground, then the lead might break and it keeps breaking when you sharpen it. There are people who say that it can be fixed by heating the lead. So you could put your color pencil in the sun or on the heater for a while, and then they say that the broken parts of the lead would melt together again. But I am not sure if that is true. It is worth a try though. And if you have tried it, let me know if it actually works or not. Anyway, there could be another reason that the lead inside of the colored pencil might break often, and that might be because of the way you are sharpening your colored pencil. I have a range of sharpeners here, just sharpeners that I picked up through the years. And with those, I will show you a few ways to sharpen your pencil. Let's start with this metal simple sharpener. It's really small, so it fits in your pocket, which is handy on location. Now, there is always a little bit of wiggle room when you put your pencil in the sharpener. So if you are turning the pencil, you might actually rock it a little bit up and down. And that might actually cause pressure on the lead inside, which makes it break. So that could be one of the reasons that your colored pencils often break when you sharpen them. Now, there is a bit more of a steady way of sharpening. You turn the thing around, so instead of turning the pencil in the sharpener, you are turning the sharpener around the pencil, and this way you are actually really holding your pencil very steady. But it is a little messy with a sharpener like this. That is why I like using a sharpener with a container. And then you just catch all the shavings of your sharpening inside of the little box, which is really great, both on location and at home then you don't have this mess. If you really like very, very sharp tips, then you will be sharpening more often and you might want to choose a larger container rather than a smaller one. But of course, these take up more space in your bag when you're on location. So that is something to consider. These, just like this wooden one, have two holes in them. And that is very handy because if you have thicker pencils like this one, they don't fit into that small hole. There are also pencil sharpeners that you can find that give you options for the length of the tip of your pencil. This one is by the brand Uli, the Mighty Sharpener. And as you can see, one of the blades is longer than the other ones. Again, this one has a smaller hole and a larger hole, and the one with the longer blade actually has a small hole. So this is for a regular pencil and not for that thick kind of pencil. Okay, so the normal length blade doesn't do anything different than the other sharpener that I just showed you. This sharpens your pencil in a regular way. Now, if you would be using the longer blade, then you will actually create a longer tip. It's quite a difference between those two tips, isn't there? And it means that you can use the side of your pencil way more than you would if you have the shorter length pencil. Some people really prefer this very long tip and it's really up to you whether you like that or not. For some people, it doesn't matter. For some people, it's really important. There are no rules. It's really up to you. And then if you want a really, really long tip, you can always use an X-Acto knife, but I'm not going to do that because I'm sure I will cut myself. I really enjoy using these very handy container type colored pencil uh, sharpeners. And um, I really hope that this tip is useful to maintain your colored pencil collection and to get less frustrated about breaking leads. One last tip. The other day I organized all my colored pencils and I have a lot. 
And um, I really got into sharpening them all, and I ended up with a blister on my finger. So maybe you want to sharpen in smaller increments, or perhaps get an electrical sharpener or something. Have fun with your colored pencils, and make sure to sign up for the Sketchbook School course, Colored Pencils. It'll change the way you will use your colored pencils forever, and you will be inspired to color the world around you. Join us at sketchbookschool.com. <music>